Lately, a lot of people have been saying that Titan feels weak, that she needs buffs, that she has a lot of problems, and that that might be what's causing people to not play her. And I'd like to go ahead and just discuss all of her abilities and my take on the whole matter. Kind of just give the light what everyone is saying about her, why they're saying it, what my personal opinions are, and we'll just kind of talk about the class a little bit. I mean, it's not going to be a guide, but I just want to talk about Titan. Like, do we have a problem with Titan? Is Titan a problematic class right now? So, the big thing... The big thing with her is that she has this five round magazine on her rocket launcher and it's got a really long reload time. So it's like zero, one, two, three. So it's like, that's a good three seconds to reload her rocket launcher. And in a game as fast paced as this, that's an eternity. That takes way too long to actually accomplish. So people are always saying that she just feels like she doesn't have enough ammo. They feel like once they use her ammo, they're reloading for so long, and if they're not in crisper range, then, like, they're screwed. And I can't say that they're quite wrong. I can't say that I disagree with them. It does feel like there is a huge focus on this reload mechanic, and not only is the reload to take a long time, it blocks the center of your screen in a huge way. Like, when I reload, if I want to see something, I need to, like, look off to the right like this and look at the left side of my screen in order to continue seeing what it is I'm trying to look at. It's just so obtrusive into my screen. It'd be really cool if they just changed the angle of this reload so it only blocked the right half of my screen. This model of the rocket launcher is also gigantic. It takes up a huge portion of your screen. And it's super hard to actually see what you're doing in a lot of cases. So, I think a lot of the problems with Titan, as we're going to discuss in detail more here, is that a lot of it might just be the way the character is presented. A lot of it might just be user interface, more so than it is the actual character itself. Now, one cool thing about this character that I think they changed for this beta is that when you rocket jump straight out of spawn, you have your health refunded for that rocket jump for a good one to two seconds. So you don't have any issues with having to waste all your health at the start of a match just to get into the game faster because your character is so slow. So that's nice. It's definitely very, very helpful that you can get into the game that much quickly, that much more quickly, excuse me, but you still need to reload a lot so I'll, I'll show you guys here it's like rocket jumping out of spawn into mid i'm only gonna have three rockets left and i have to choose whether am i gonna reload or do i only have three rockets to engage the entire fight with and then what do i do after that so it's like you have one rocket here one rocket there and i will b hop in oh i'm bad i missed my b hop so either way if you do it right you'll you'll b hop and you'll maintain momentum all the way up through this door and then you can backfire here and you'll come up You'll have three rockets to shoot with if you don't backfire, or if you do backfire, you only have two. So you get like one, two on people, and then you're done. You get to start crispering, or you have to, you know, use your shift and run away. And the question is, is that problematic? Is that too crappy for her to deal with? Does that make the class too weak? My argument would be kind of no, actually. So like, again, let's see if we can get this, ro this rollout right. Nope. Of course, as soon as I'm trying to record this live, I'll never do it right, but... The idea here is that, you know, you can you can come out quickly. Like this. There we go. So now, you're just finishing the reload. If you choose to reload as soon as you fire that second shot, you finish the reload when you're, like, up here. So, like, you're way out in the open, and you're dead to any good Enforcer or Gunslinger already. If you do that reload. So, you kind of can't do the reload. You gotta come out fast like this with three rounds in mag. You will have full health, though, at least, so that's beneficial. And you can shoot those three rockets out, occupy whatever space that they're trying to hold. And then you have your shift to move and try to run away with, I guess. Or you can crisper people, but... It's a very, very one-track sort of playstyle. It's like, there's not a whole lot of thinking involved. There's not a whole lot of variations in your gameplay that you can do. Because by the time you start varying it up and switching it up in interesting ways... You're just out of ammo, and you have to reload for three seconds, and all your speed was kind of for naught, because if you spend all your resources to get in quickly, you have nothing to do once you get there, unless you have, like, an ult ready. So, like, if you can, like, blast in like this on somebody, like, you, you use all your rockets to blast in. God damn it. Use all your rockets to blast in. Like, say, like, you're, you're not bad at this game, and you actually fly through here with speed. You, like, you b-hop in, you ult, and you can actually do something, right? You get some health back, and you get some damage, whatever, but... If you're not, like, doing this exact situation, like, with a Blitz Ball or something, then you're kind of screwed, right? You're just out of ammo. And it makes the character very difficult to play. 
it's not necessarily making the character bad, because Titan is extremely powerful and does a lot of damage, and has some good survivability as well, but it just makes it hard to actually manage your resources. Luckily, the CRISPR is insanely powerful if you're within range, and it's very forgiving with your aim as well, so that's nice. It is very helpful, for sure, but... The character just feels kind of gross for some people to play for a lot of these reasons, and I can't say that they're quite wrong. So, my suggestions would be... To kind of alleviate this, one, maybe make the backfire animation a little bit faster. Because it does take a long time for you to actually fold that gun behind you and start shooting it. I understand it's a big rocket launcher, but like, it just feels slow. Maybe it's not actually slow, but it feels slow. Something else that they could do as well. Less self-damage for these rockets. Like, you're doing a good 50 to 80 self-damage every time you rocket jump. And that's like a fundamental part of the class. I would certainly love to see uh, just smaller health penalties for deciding to rocket jump. Like, it should be encouraged. Rocket jumping should be encouraged on this character. It should be the focus of this character. And punishing you that hard for it is really, really troublesome because it means your team has to have a Harrier or it has to have a Battle Medic. And they have to be pocketing you to keep you healthy so you can actually do cool Titan things. So that, that part scares me for sure. That definitely scares me about the gameplay with this character. And I have, I mean, it has started to, grow, started to grow on me over time, so I can't say that I'm particularly, uh, I don't know, I, I, I can't say that I particularly dislike the character, but I can see why people have issues with her, and I can see why she's not picked, and I can definitely feel that if a player is not super insane with her, how they are just not able to bring as much to the team as, like, an Enforcer could, or a Wraith could, for example. So, I think maybe, as opposed to straight up buffing the character... Maybe just making her a little bit easier to use and a little bit more approachable, making her a little bit just more fun to operate might be a good idea. So I guess that might actually come in the way of straight buffs and, you know, making the reload speed a little faster, maybe increasing mag size by one rocket. Maybe they make it do less self damage or something, but I think something needs to break here. I think something does need to break. I would really like to see actually, um, and I doubt this would ever really happen, but if you've ever played Street Fighter, at least more of the, the more modern ones, you have what's called gray health. So sometimes an attack will give you gray health where it'll slowly regenerate over time if you don't take any other damage. So like for example, if you're coming out of spawn with uh, Titan here, use your rocket jumps. Instead of it doing permanent damage to you, it does gray health damage. So like if no one else shoots you and you're just using the rockets for mobility, then that health will slowly over time regenerate, but only that gray health. And if anyone shoots you once, so, like, say you've done 100 self-damage and it's all set up as the quote-unquote gray health. If you were to then take one Enforcer bullet randomly, all that gray health disappears and all that damage becomes permanent. So, like, that's kind of how it's worked in that game. And I, I think it would be interesting to try in a game like this. I don't know if it would work, but I can't say that there's ever been an FPS that has had a gray health mechanic. At least there is, I don't know about it. And I'm sure that someone in the comment section is going to be like, Froth, you moron, there's like 8,000 games like that. Uh, whatever, fine. Okay, but... Point is, I've never seen something like that, and I would love to see it come into Lawbreakers, for Titan in particular, because rocket jumping is cool, man. Rocket jumping is really cool, and it should be, like, embraced. It should be embraced, and it should be just made a little bit better. So, before I start rambling too much, like I'm already doing and repeating myself more than, like, 500 times like I've already done, we'll go ahead and cut this off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new about Titan, and uh, I hope that... You can give Boss Key some sound feedback in the comment section down below as well because they could absolutely use it to help fine-tune these classes for the full release of Lawbreakers on both PC and PS4 on August 8th, 2017. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.